The cathode building at Giga Texas is 62.5% done, and we're stuck waiting for walls. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla weekend. Welcome to the last biggest math jump from here on out. The last bits of roof got their first layer, nudging up that element of the tracker to 50%, where it's gonna remain until the walls start closing off the building. You can see the jump on the roof here, which has led to the overall completion increase of 2.3 points. So let's start by talking about what progress has taken place this week. The roof, yes, we got that. But now most of the floor decking has been installed on the second and third floors, with more of it getting rebar for imminent addition of concrete. And yes, many new sections of concrete have been poured. HVAC hangers and brackets have also been installed. And while the ground floor is awaiting its first slabs of concrete, trenching for utilities has been done both inside the building and outside along the apron, and more forms have been put up for the addition of the perimeter grade beam. More attachments for the walls have been welded onto the exterior, with only about half of them installed on the east side of the building and none yet on the west side. These are likely to be complete in the next couple weeks, though they could be done much quicker if the walls arrive in sufficient quantity to need them. These are extremely heavy duty, leading us to believe that the exterior wall panels will be concrete. So the walls, man, the walls. They should arrive soon, and once they go up, we'll be able to start counting squares towards the interior completion. But let's take a look at the site map and go through it as we always do a week of a week and roll it back to the beginning to see how it has changed. Yeah, it took a little while to dial in the exact size and shape since we've seen no blueprints early on and had to make a lot of assumptions. Ongoing revisions were expected and we did eventually get to see the blueprints and now we know. Mad thanks to Joe Tetmeyer for allowing use of his fantastic footage. Check him out for factory deep dives of a different variety from these, and because he's just so awesome, and, you know, we gotta help out the community. So there it is, and there you go. 62.5% done overall, with nothing left to count until we get some walls. The tracker will be on hold, probably, until that happens, though work will obviously continue even before we reach that point. This tracker may need to take a little break to wait for some walls. So that was the last big jump, with 37.5% left to go, and that progress spread out over at least the 20 weeks afforded to count toward interior completion. The biggest single week jump we could possibly see from here out will be less than 2%. The mathematical earliest this building could be complete is in the first half of January, but that is approaching impossible based on what we can see. If all the walls go up in the next month, we would expect completion in the first half of February. Videos like this take a lot of time to produce, so if you find value in what you see, consider offering support on Patreon, where you get early access, exclusive content, and a whole heap a lot more. Or you can subscribe, like the video if you did, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter at 4K Podcast. I appreciate you all. Either way, because you are, without exaggeration, the reason I'm able to keep going. And I thank you guys for that. So, what did I miss or misunderstand? Leave it all below. The comments, the thoughts, the brilliance, all of it. And stay tuned, stay juicy, and I simply cannot wait to hear from you clever robots on the interior side of the tracker. And here's your time and a half overtime bonus for hanging out. Joe captured footage of all these front and rear assembly castings moved outside. Something big is going on inside this building, and there is simply no room to hide all of these quietly inside. Well, he estimated there were thousands, perhaps 10,000. And I know I said in a comment on his video that I wouldn't do it, but I counted them. As best I could, anyway, by watching his video, I cranked it up to 4K, I paused it, I extrapolated from what I could see. The number is closer to 2,400. 
it's still a lot, but divide that in half to get the car count, that's 1,200, and that's just kind of a week of production, even this early on in the ramp. Thoughts?